Hi, I'm Hub Arkish along with associate editor Arthur Arkish here with more of our exclusive Pro Football Weekly Way We Hear It. We're reporting today on the Indianapolis Colts and somewhat of a brouhaha that's been going on the past few days between Vice Chairman Bill Polian and the media in Indianapolis. And it started with Bob Kravitz, columnist of the Indianapolis Star, writing a scathing indictment of the job Bill's son Chris has done as general manager of the Indianapolis Colts. Well, apparently Bill wasn't real happy with the piece, reached out to other media outlets and said, the media are rats who tell lies about people and I quote and he said and the team's job is to put all those rats in the sewer. Well the owner of the Indianapolis Colts Jim Irsay wasn't real happy about that and we know Jim Irsay is a bit of a tweeter and Arthur he tweeted out well Bill Polian is gonna have to get along with the media a little better and Bob Kravitz happens to be a friend of mine so where do we take this story from here? Well it's fascinating it actually comes right on the heels of Mr. Irsay giving his support to the Polian family and then sure enough Bill Polian just totally unprofessionally responds to the media in a bad way gets called out by uh, the owner, Mr. Ursay, so it kind of makes you wonder where things go from here. When winning is the case, everyone's happy, but obviously it's been the opposite and, and things are clearly in a downward spiral right well, now. Well, and that's what's so intriguing about this is they are leading in the, quote, suck for luck derby. They haven't won a game all year. You have to assume the team should be quite this bad, even if Peyton Manning's not there. People have questioned some of the things that have happened on Chris Polian's watch. As a matter of fact, many people will say that Kravitz's column was right on. And you have to wonder now, now, how long will Jim Irsay tolerate this? Because Bill Polian has clearly become the emperor. He feels that he can do and say whatever he wants. I took some time to look at the Indianapolis Colts media guide. The only person that Chris Polian has ever worked for in the National Football League is his father. Now, obviously, you and I don't have a problem with father and son working together, but you're not the publisher or the editor. And so now you've got a question, has Chris Polian been promoted beyond his abilities? Yeah, it's a very realistic question. And we've been hearing prior to this Kravitz column that Chris had been a polarizing figure. He had ushered out some longtime employees, Howard Mudd, Tom Moore, Gene Huey was the longest tenured coach on the staff, former running backs coach. The list goes on. There's been scouts, PR people. We're hearing that Chris Polian is the driving force behind this. So it makes you wonder the timing of the whole thing is certainly interesting. And as things continue, of course, to digress, you have to wonder where it's going to go from here. Well, that's where the story is interesting because the bottom line is when family gets involved in business, you can have problems. Ursay has three of his daughters in the business. Bill Polian is not family. He's fighting for his son. They haven't won a football game. Keep an eye on this story. There could be changes in the front office in Indianapolis. That'll do it for this version of Pro Football Weekly, the way we hear it. But for the best in news, notes, and analysis, stay right here 24 hours a day, seven days a week at ProFootballWeekly.com.